Hey everybody, Susan Rashawn here, The Techie Mentor. Just a big thank you for listening to this podcast, the virtual assistant tips, tricks, and advice channel where I share all things virtual assistant every week with no fluff, just the stuff that gets results. Hello, my friends, and welcome to this week's episode. And today I want to talk to you about a question that I see often posted in social media, which is something to the tune of, what services are most wanted or most requested uh, by potential clients? And I think it's a valid question, but what happens is a lot of times people who are new to the industry come in thinking they don't have any skills or services to offer immediately when they start their business. And that's not necessarily the case. It's great to know what services are most wanted, but if you're somebody who is really in a space who wants to start their business and get moving as quickly as possible, then maybe you don't have the time and energy to learn maybe a most wanted service. So instead, what you need to do is rephrase the question, not so much as what services are most wanted by clients, but what could I offer now to get myself started? So it really depends on your situation. I mean, you may have the luxury of having um, extra time and energy to learn the services that clients are requesting the most before you start your business. But if you were like me and many others, um, time is of the essence. You want to you know, quit your soul sucking job as soon as possible, or you need income as soon as possible. So you may not have the time and space to learn those. So maybe rephrase it to what could you offer now? So how do you know what you could offer now? Well, make a list of what you know how to do right now. So here's the thing. The ultimate goal is to create a business that you love and that supports the lifestyle that you crave. But you may not start there, but realize that's the end goal. So you should always say, okay, that's where I want to eventually be. Can I be that way in 30 days? Probably not, no matter what others are going to tell you. It takes time and energy to build a long-term profitable, profitable, sustainable business. I mean, there are people that I see almost every every day or every few days that have a new spin on how to create a VA business, create a VA business in a day, create a biz, VA business in an hour, create a VA business in three days or seven days. And more power to them, but to me, how do you actually build a long-term sustainable business in an hour? So my point is, is you need to be realistic about how long it's going to take you to get to that end goal of having a business that supports the lifestyle that you crave. And that business should be your passion, which means you should only offer what you love to do. But when you're starting out, you may have to do what you have to do to get your business off the ground. And so that's really my focus. Focus on what you can do now and make a wait list, for instance, of what you can do later. What are those in-demand services that maybe are going to pay you premium rates? But if you want to start to build momentum and understand how to run a business and understand marketing, then I would start with what you have today. Grab a sheet of paper and simply make a brain dump, a list of everything you know how to do. And, And don't worry about, well, that's VAs don't do that. No, no, that's not what we're here for. We're here just to make a list of the skills you have now. And then what you want to do is make sure that it has pretty much everything you can do. You know, dust off an old resume. There may be things you forgot how to do. And I would likely bet that probably in one way or another, you're going to have some customer service experience. And I can tell you that customer service is a great skill set to offer when you're starting out. People need help with customer service, whether it's answering emails or, or answering phones or setting up appointments. Remember, it's not the end all be all, but if you're looking just to get your feet wet, get some experience, build some confidence and get your business started, it's a great place to start. Make that list, brain dump it, and then take a look and say, well, what could I offer today? If you know how to answer phones, if you know how to um, you know, manage someone's email or, or calendar, those are certainly things that you can start with. Then I would challenge you to create a wait list for the services that are most wanted, but can also charge premium rates. So just a different way to think of, all right, I know I need to get started. I want to start my VA business, but I don't have any skills. I bet you do. 
It's just a matter of reframing the question, having a different mindset and looking what you have to offer right now to get yourself started. Now, I've also got a free ebook um, that I've put the link to where you can download it here in the description of the podcast. That is really for you if you're looking to you know, plan ahead and say, well, what can I learn that will pay me more per hour or give me more freedom? Um, because admin skills usually keep you tied to your desk during business hours as where those back-end skills are going to give you more flexibility. Feel free to take a look at that. And then you could use that as kind of a, um, to give you some ideas of what you might want to learn once you have the time and space to do so. So hopefully you found this helpful. Please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Um, I release them every week and you can find them on all the popular podcasting platforms, including, you know, Apple and Spotify, iHeartRadio, Pandora, um, all of those. So please feel free to subscribe Thank you for listening and I'll see you guys next week.